Hey guys, B Snappy here. I'm here with Sam and he's the CEO and founder of the Switchblade Flying Sports Car. So Sam, thousands of people have been looking at this car. Does it actually fly? We flew the prototype here last November. That was made its maiden voyage up in the uh, middle of Washington State in an airport there. So what about certification to fly this? Is it an ultralight or what is it? So this is an experimental category aircraft and we chose experimental because it's a place where you, f where you can actually achieve the most um, kind of innovation and this is pretty much new. So just to confirm, can you take this off on the road or do you have to be in an airport drive onto the tarmac and take off there? Sure, so this is a vehicle that you could keep in your garage at home. Like when you want to fly somewhere, go somewhere, you throw your bags in, strap in, drive it to the airport closest to you. Uh, push the button, three minutes later, you're ready to take off. You take off, fly to the airport closest to where you want to be and reverse that process and drive the last few miles. So it depends on the regulations that you have in your country. Yeah. Uh, in the United States, you know, you're subject to the same as any other aircraft. So you can take off on private property uh, if you've got the space and it's safe to do so. Uh, you could do it on a neighbor's property if that's the case. A lot in the outback, you know, your other places you might be able to do this uh, almost any place. So what sort of speed do you actually need for takeoff and what's the cruise speed for it? So the takeoff speed is about 74 miles an hour and then you get up to 160 miles an hour cruise wow. at 8,000 feet. How many people have actually reserved one of these to buy? Uh, it's amazing we've had such good good uh, take up on it and interest on it. There's over 2,600 people who here today. We've gotten another 13 or so more. Um, it's doing great. So the big question is, what price are we talking for one of these awesome cars? I know. We priced it in 2019 at 170000 for the kit vehicle and the builder assist program. It's experimental. You have, you have to help build it. Our build program is only a one week long, and it's mostly learning how to operate four machines that produce all the parts. You push the buttons, do that little bit, and the computers take care of the rest. Look at the wings here. How does that actually work? So the wings swing in. Uh, the clamshell doors here open, the wings swing in to the yep. belly and they disappear inside. The clamshell doors close up and then they'll all be behind this when it's in the ground so they can't even be touched. So where does the tail actually store into? Sure, the tail in this model, which is the one that flew, the horizontals in the back fold down against the verticals. That whole yep. assembly uh, rotates down and sucks back into the ducted fan section so it's protected in the rear by the bumpers. So wow. you can't bump anything with your tail. It's nice and safe and protected. Is there a difference between the car engine and the motor engine? Uh, no, it's the same engine. One oh, engine wow. powers the wheels on the ground or the propeller in the air. What sort of fuel does this run on? This runs on uh, uh, petrol, automobile petrol, yeah. uh, Supreme. Amazing machine, amazing design. Thanks so much for the interview. You betcha.